From the beginning of exploration of network virtualization, the telecom industry realized it would have particular challenges regarding network management and orchestration. AT&T chose to address these challenges by developing its own software platform, a vendor-neutral and cloud-based system it called eComp. It was developed over a period of years and unveiled publicly in 2016. AT&T developed a holistic approach to an infrastructure service delivery platform. In short, they wanted an approach that would let them deliver services faster, but maintain the same kind of resilience and reliability for which telecom is known. The way to think about this is really the way you think about a computer and a network operating system. So eComp is really our network operating system for our software-defined network. So what makes eComp different as a network virtualization platform? So for me, eComp and orchestration is not necessarily a network virtualization uh, platform. It's about service. It's about orchestrating a service. And the service layer is that, that is what matters. Now, AT&T, along with Amdocs, is contributing the 8 million lines of software code written for eComp into an open source project, which will be hosted by the Linux Foundation. So you would hope to see an explosion of VNFs the way we saw an explosion of PC applications. Uh, it, from different vendors, exactly, and we'd want to make sure that they were be able to be onboarded in a very common way and to be integrated in a very common way across uh, different service providers, exactly. And okay. so the, the hard part, really, will be kind of letting go uh, in, in getting input from others, but quite frankly, that's really the key to success, is making sure that that happens. There are a lot of open source initiatives, many different projects under on the Linux Foundation. Right. What's different about eComp? Is it unique? In the case of eComp, it's at uh, a layer of the stack in uh, the telecom sector that you wouldn't think was normally open source. You know, a lot of open source projects tend to be at the very low infrastructure layer. So it's a, a much higher level, a much more valuable level. And so from that uh, aspect, it's unique. The, the other aspect that makes it very, very unique is that it's production code <laughs> from one of the world's <laughs> largest uh, service providers. Uh, and I think that uh, gives developers an opportunity to get a glimpse into something that they've never seen before. So how do you see this community changing over time, particularly as you take on more and different kinds of service providers and also vendors to the service providers? The change that needs to happen in the industry is, one, you see service providers like AT&T becoming software companies. Mm -hmm. You see organizations like Amdocs, you know, that may have traditionally been behind the scenes, uh, working on proprietary technology, now participating in an open source initiative. Amdocs is a software company. Correct. How does adopting open source, or uh, moving into an open source realm, where software code is free and transparent, how does that impact your business? It's changing the business. But think about it the following way. Let's say I have an option to take a module and do it on my own. That means that every bug, every new feature, mm -hmm. every new model, I have to develop it by myself. Whereas, if I'm using a, a open source, somebody else is gonna, a, a, some of the bugs, there's gonna be some other developer in China, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. who can fix it. And there, if there is a model for a, somebody who, would, who is not necessarily my customer, mm -hmm. some other vendor would fix it for him. Orange was the first service provider to announce a trial of eComp. Orange has endorsed um, the vision uh, behind eComp uh, because we believe that um, we need a, a way to uh, automate uh, operations. And looking at the, the market, there are uh, some good commercial solutions but uh, we are also extremely interested to uh, start using a very comprehensive open source framework. And eComp, among the solutions that we looked on the market, was the most promising and still is the most promising uh, framework. That's why we decided to test and trial uh, this solution. We are betting on eComp, but we are very open and we would like uh, other initiatives to converge on the same uh, open solution. In December, Bell Canada announced that it would test the eComp platform. I spoke with Petri Litikainen, the Vice President for Network Strategy, Services and Management at Bell Canada. eComp fits very nicely to our network critical transformation strategy and actually all the key objectives as one of the foundational platforms. eComp type of, type of architecture will play a crucial role, making us more agile, enabling automation of currently manual processes whether they are development processes or operational processes. Whether it's eComp or another ecosystem, it forces vendors to open and standardize their interfaces and protocols. 
which will help us as an industry to become more agile and drive our costs down. This means vendors need to adjust their business models and justify their value in different ways. As an example, they can become true development partners for service providers, where we together will develop hand in hand in agile iterative way based on the real customer requirements. Moving to open source has opened the door for faster innovation, a quicker move to scalability, and the prospect of industry-wide support for a single platform.